Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this year's recipient of the Jimmy V Award for Perseverance, Liam Hendricks. Thank you guys for uh, standing up for me. I appreciate it. But uh, the real hero is that little, little lady down there, Christy. That's, uh, she's my rock. She's the best one here. Uh, never in all my life did I think I would be on stage, and I'm so humbled to be here, recognized by the ESPYs, but also in this room full of probably, if not the greatest athletes, some of all time. Uh, it's, it's such an honor to be here. Uh, I want to thank everybody for it. But, uh, Look, cancer changes you. There's no doubt about it. Going through this, it changed me for the better. There's a lot of times where I'm sitting out here thinking about what I could have done differently, what I could have done differently in my life leading up to this moment. But you know what? Everything, is, everything in life is short. Life, it's just trivial. Things are just trivial when you go through something like this. It doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter how it goes. All that matters is that you just live life your way. Do it your way. Fly by your own seat. Fly by everything you want to do yourself. And that's all that really matters. I mean, I was 33 years old when I got diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Not exactly the off-season I had planned this year. But it is what it is. And all you can do is tackle it <laughs> and advance. <laughs> it turned out that obviously you heard in the video that I pitched pretty much all of 2022 with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, that was a an eye opener. Like, I didn't feel too many symptoms, but I had some lumps around, and it just shows you the power of the mind. When you don't think anything's wrong, and you believe that you can do anything, you can do anything. I was throwing 100 miles an hour while going through stage four lymphoma, and then coming back after doing chemotherapy, four rounds of chemo, eight rounds of, oh, sorry, eight rounds of uh, chemotherapy and four rounds of immunotherapy. Came back and was able to get out there and throw 96 miles an hour. That isn't physically a bit who I am. That's all this. That's all mental. As I alluded to earlier, I wouldn't be here tonight without my wife, my incredible team at the Mayo Clinic, with especially Dr. Alison Rosenthal. She was, she was the person when she told me I have stage four lymphoma, said, I'm not worried. To those little words, I don't think I've ever meant more to anybody in the history of the world. I'm not worried while telling you you have stage four cancer. She is one of the main reasons that I'm up here tonight. <laughs> I want to thank the Chicago White Sox organization for your constant faith in me and allowing me to still be a part of the team during chemotherapy while coming into spring training and being able to kind of get in, do all my work. I mean, that um, yeah, <laughs> got me off the couch, and that's big. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.